Welcome back to eSIM Studios. My name is Taylor Bell, and here at eSIM Studios, I try to present uh, everything technology, right? Now, with that includes applications, right? We use apps every day, all day, and I wanted to present some of my favorite apps, apps that I use on a daily basis, apps that I've been personally using for years. And I think this one app review, this one app that I'm about to show you and how it works is a app that I think I've downloaded on my very first Android phone. I believe it is. It's one of the first few. I know that. Um, now, what app is it? Now, it it's a tool that can help clean your phone. Now, what I mean by that is if you have junk files, if you have duplicate photos, duplicate files, uh, basically a system cleaner for your device. If your phone is acting janky or simply you're running out of space, you're going to want to download this application. Now, what is this application? SD Made. How many of you all have, have used SD Made? Yes, one of my favorite apps of all time. Now, a little history real quick and then we'll jump into the overview and how it works. Um, because what, if you've never heard of this and you download it for the very first time, open it up, it might look a little confusing. So let me walk you through it, right? Very easy to use. Um, now, the original SD made, check this out. So here's the developer, Darkin. He's got a number of SD made. So this original SD made right here, uh, was the very first one that I've used. Now he has a pro version, right? And I do, uh, I have purchased that. I don't know why it's not showing purchase, but I, <laughs> I have. Now it was actually removed from the Play Store, not for, not for vulnerability purposes, not for virus purposes. It was removed for about a, I would say about a year or ten months, probably two years ago. Because of permission problems. So when Android 13 or 14 was released, they revamped their permissions, right? And I remember him, uh, I follow him on social media. I remember him saying, hey guys, my app was removed from the Play Store, not because of security issues, but I simply have to go back into the app, recode it, and basically get, rework the permissions, right? So he's brought it back, reworked the permissions, and it works wonderfully. I just tried it on one of my devices. Um, awesome, right? So here's the new one. Here's the new one that I'm recommending that I'm reviewing today. SD Made 2. So this is the new improved SD Made system cleaner. It actually finds files, data, deep down inside every little crevice of your um, of your storage, pulls them out and cleans them. Either wipes them or deletes them totally, right? So this is the one we're doing today. Um, <clears throat> let's see. It's it's still in development, but I can tell you it works wonderfully. Um, it's it's a still a very new and young app. I'm working on a few features every day. Um, update can, latest update contains bug fixes, performance improvements, and maybe a few new features. Detailed change log is always available on GitHub. So I'll put that GitHub link in the description box below. I love GitHub. Uh, GitHub, yes. Um, let's see. Any other info? So you can install it on your phone and or tablet. I don't know if it works on Chromebooks, but you can try it. Look at this. Look at these great reviews. I'm one of those. Um, about this app. This is your Android's trusted assistant, right? Keep it clean and tidy. Again, a perfect solution if you're running out of storage on your Android device because it will get rid of... I think I got. I think I cleared 13 gigabytes on my S24 Ultra today. 13.1 gigabytes. Wow. <laughs> that'll, that'll clear a lot of space off your phone. I guarantee you, if you haven't run a system cleaner on your phone, and I don't recommend a lot of system cleaners. A lot of them are just ads right? A lot of them don't do that much. They just want to push ads to your phone so they get paid. This, the complete opposite. Uh, this really works. So let me show you what it looks like, right? I already have it installed, obviously, on, on a couple of my devices, and I installed it on my Nothing Phone 2. And let me bring this a little bigger right here. There we go. Whoops. I need to 
There we go. Okay. Nothing phone two. SD mate. So here's what you do. So I have it open right here, right? So you're going to get open it up and you get a welcome screen. Welcome screen, SD made, manages files, apps, and storage. I don't necessarily, I mean, does it manage them? No. Does it wipe them clean? Yes. So maybe yes, it has to word that properly to get passed in the Google Play Store. I have no idea, but let's continue. So it, it, you gain storage space by cleaning up behind other apps and other, because even when you uninstall an app, did you know, even when you uninstall an app, that app still leaves data and files on your device in case you reinstall that app. It'll have some memory and data to refer to. So you can have some of your um, settings or, or information from the last time you installed the app. This will find that uninstalled app's data and totally delete it off of your phone. You can read through this. Basically explains everything I've already I've already explained, right? Privacy policy. Yep. Setup access. So here's what we'll do. Just simply go through. And we're going to grant access for all of these permissions. I'm going to hit yes. I do not have root access. Okay. Allow. Allow. Now, now here's where you get to your homepage. Now you can actually schedule this to run and scan your device for files, uh, for anything you want at a certain time. So in the past, I've actually, uh, scheduled it for every single morning at 5 AM. It'll run. So when I wake up in the morning at seven or 8 AM, Boom, I got a clean phone, no dirty files, no, not dirty like that, shame on you. Um, no leftover files, no duplicates from the previous day's work on my phone, right? So you can schedule it for every single day or you can schedule it for once a week and you don't even have to touch your phone, right? Um, storage analyzer, app control, duplicator. As I, as I mentioned, it'll find any duplicate files, apps, data, totally wipe it. Um, app cleaner, that's a good one. System cleaner and corpse finder, which finds any dead apps, quote unquote, or any apps that you've uninstalled, as I previously described. It will wipe that data or leftover data from that uninstalled app. So simply do this. So I didn't have any right on there. System cleaner. It is searching my phone and says, now this phone, and you typically, if you use a phone every single day and you run this for the first time, it's going to find a ton of crap on your phone. I typically keep my phones up to date and cleaned already. So you're not going to see a ton of files here that it's, that it's going to find, but we should find some. It did find at 23, right? So I'm going to delete that. App cleaner, 97 items found, 3.97 gigabytes can be freed. Yes, we want to we want to delete all that. And it will simply go through each app in the background and clear out the... Now, this won't clean the data. So like if you're signed into an app, it's not going to wipe it to where you have to re-sign in. All right, it's just going to clean out all the access built up cache basically from all your apps, right? So you'll still be signed in, right? 
Um, it's just deleting all the excess files these apps leave. Um, but as you can tell, I cleared for almost four gigs just on this one uh, uh, um, service right here. Uh, do you, uh, for pro, do you need to pay? Now, let's see. I've paid for, I don't know why this is showing up saying, um, I have this on my family library. Oh, look, sorry. So you see here. Where am I? At? Where the hell is this thing at? So you see here where it says family library. I've already, I've already purchased this app. Uh, I think it's a few dollars. Now this is for the OG SD made. The one I'm using right now I think this one is free. I'm not sure. You might want to double check on your end. Um, cause if I, if I did pay for it, you would have gone to my family share account where I share my app, where I share my paid apps, like with my daughter and stuff. Uh, so she can download this on her phone. I think it would show I, I'm to be completely honest with you. I'm not sure I've had this installed on my phones forever. So it's possible. I just don't. I just don't remember. I've had it for so long. Um, but if I did pay for it, it would have seen. It would have shown family share, right? Um, now check this out. If you want to use it for free, use this OG one. In fact, let me. While this is clearing, did it finish? Let's. I'll try. I'll install the free version on a phone uh, that does not have my family account, and we'll see what you can do with the free version. Let me go through the rest of this real quick. <laughs> okay. Good question. Thank you. Now we'll go to duplicator. Will it find any duplicate photos, apps, anything like that? Two found, right? Four megabytes, no big deal. Just delete that. App control. What is this? Well, you can actually control how the apps perform and how they store their information on your phone. It's very detail oriented. Um, you can scan through this if you want to. Um, pretty self-explanatory. The main ones you're going to worry about are all these top three or four options. Storage analyzer. This will break down the storage in your device. What apps have the most storage on your phone? See apps, files, system data right there. And then it breaks it down right there with your apps. So the biggest app on, on my phone data wise is Google Play Store. Seconds Chrome, second, uh, thirds photos, as you can tell. User files, I'm gonna break it down just like that. Pictures, movies, downloads. Um, and system data is basically the data for your operating system. All right, scheduler, here's where you can schedule. When do you want this cleaned, right? So if you're like me and you want a fresh phone, totally clean, as soon as you wake up in the morning, this is what I I used to do. Uh, I don't really do it much anymore because I switched between phones so many times, but watch. So you can schedule it. Let's see. So we'll start a new name. We'll just say... So we'll just name it start approximate time. Let's do like I did in the past 5 a.m. Now interval every day save. There you go. So whenever you wake up in the morning, boom, you have a completely fresh and clean phone. I used to run this uh, daily because uh, when I used to flash phones, uh, custom ROMs, you used to get, I say dirty files, but loose files, loose ends. Um, and this just helped keep my operating system every single day, fresh, clean, fast, smooth operating system uh, without any hiccups. Now, typically, do you really need to do this uh, now? Depends. 
I still, I'm going to keep it on here. Actually, actually I'm going to set it up on all my phones. <laughs> so I'm going to still do it. But that's up to you. Maybe you have a phone where you're almost out of storage. And you want to make sure, let's say you only have a few gigabytes left. And you want to make sure that you're not getting the out of storage message every single day. Well, set this up to run um, uh, on a daily basis. And it'll always keep your storage low. So you're not always bumping up to the limit, right? Um, yeah, so I got it scheduled for daily. Yes, we want to run Corpse Finder. We, we run, want to run the system cleaner, and we also want to run the app cleaner. So I activated schedule is disabled, so let's enable it. All right, schedule is enabled at the bottom. So I got it to run every morning at 5 a.m. It'll run that whole process that I just showed y'all. Yeah, you're very welcome. Now, it's pretty easy, right? Um, that'll run it real quick. If you've already set it up and you went through your permissions and you gave it all the permissions like I just did a few minutes ago, you can activate this simple button down there at the bottom um to do a quick tap and it'll run through the whole process so you don't have to sit there and hit and go down and go down each list scan delete scan delete you can just simply touch this button boom watch it'll do everything all at once pretty simple pretty easy now it already cleared a lot of stuff but it did free 59 megabytes just by doing that so that's a very very um awesome application that I use and I love. Um, now, to answer Mike Epsi's answer, let's see, or question, excuse me. Um, let me grab a phone I don't have it installed on and uh, give me a second. I think this might be dead. Yep, it's a nothing phone 2A. Shit, it's totally dead. Uh, let me plug it in. I'll get another phone. All right, let's see here. Um, what is this? Uh, my uh, OnePlus 12. One plus 12. Okay. Let's see. SD made. So. Let's pull up the OG version, the free version, right? Because the pro version, as I showed you, is on my family, uh, family library of applications. Oh, let me show you his other apps while I down. Now I'm gonna download this SD Made One right here, right? I'll install that. That's the totally free version, and we'll see what the free version entails. So it's ready to open. Now let me show you what other apps he's got, though. So he's got these SD Made apps that cleans your system. Multi device monitor. I have no idea. Okay. Wake lock. I have used. Oh shit! Y'all aren't even seeing. Sorry. So here's his other apps. Octi, um, multi device monitor. I've didn't know uh, he developed that. What is this? Oh, that's pretty sweet. In fact, that's badass. So you can all the devices you're signed into, you can have an overview. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna install this. Uh, you can have an overview of all the devices you're signed into, their their health, the temperature, the battery, um, apps that are installed on them, is it connected to a network? You can see all the installed apps on the device, that's cool. Wow, I may have to do a um, app review of this. So I'll install that and we'll check that out tomorrow, how about that? But let's look at these other ones. So, Permission Pilot. Um, let's see here. Safe Travels. What is this? This, this developer's got some pretty cool apps. 
So this is just an overview of the apps you have on your phone and their permissions that they have. Wake Lock Detector. I have used this app from him. I don't have it installed on my device right now, but I've used it just before. If your battery is draining excessively or faster than, uh, faster than it typically has in the past, you can download this app and that sometimes means you have a wake lock. So what is a wake lock? A wake lock is a app or a process in the background that's awake, that's stuck in the on position, that basically won't go and sit down in the background, <laughs> basically. And it's keeping your phone running, this application is running in the background um, and it's draining your battery faster, right? So this will detect what apps are running in your background that should not be, that is causing the wake lock and or your battery drain. So I do recommend this. Um, AirPods on an Android, that's cool. Bluetooth volume manager. Uh, if any of y'all have AirPods and an Android de uh, device out there, I'm assuming you can use his app, this right here, to... Um, actually get the AirPods working on your Android device. Now, if you have a Nothing phone, you would know this is already baked into the Nothing operating system. Let me show you. So if you have a Nothing phone, Nothing phone 2, you can actually use AirPods on this device already. So you don't have to download. Where do I go? Settings, experimental. See, AirPod support right there. It's already on. However, you can use this dude's app to do the same thing if you don't have a if you don't have a nothing phone like if you have a Samsung device or if you have a uh, OnePlus device or a Pixel uh, use this dark use Darkens application what is it called the CA Pod companion for AirPods use his app to pair AirPods to your Android so oh, he's got a bunch of cool apps he's been around for forever I think ever again probably. 12 years, I can remember. Uh, so very knowledgeable app. He will answer your questions. Send him an email. All the developers, every single developer, every single app that's listed on the Play Store, they have to put a email for if you have questions. And he will answer your questions. I've emailed him back and forth numerous times throughout the past. He'll answer anything you got, right? So... Um, so he's got a he's got a couple on here that I'm gonna review. I'm gonna actually download a couple of these as soon as this is done, and start using them. And we'll start reviewing a couple of these other apps. I think I'm gonna do the wake lock detector because there's a ton of people that have wake locks and probably don't even know it, right? If your battery out of nowhere kind of drains faster than it's it typically has in the past, it's probably have a wake lock. Um, and I'll show you how to detect a wake lock and how to kill that uh, service. So you can hopefully get back to normal uh, battery life, right? Battery usage. So let's take a look. Now, why is this not working? There we go. So here is SD made. Now, this is the free version, the free one, right? Let's go ahead and open that. Now this is what I'm used to. This is the um, this is the original version that I've used for years. The new the SD the SD made SE the one that we just reviewed is a newer interface, um, one that I was not too familiar with. Although it's very easy, this is the one. This is the OG interface. This is the original interface. This is the one I've been using for years. Very easy. A five-year-old could do it. So what you're going to do, download the SD Made 1. I believe it's the free. It's this right here. Oh, shit. You're not... This one right here, SD Made 1. This is what I'm using right now. So let's do it. All you do, very simple. 
Just push the scan button at the bottom. Now it's going to ask for permissions. Hey, do we have permission to scan your uh, device, right? For files, what, what have you. So I simply hit yes. Okay, so it wants me to install the one that, I, is this the one we just did? I think it wants, to, wants me to install this, great. So maybe it defaults to this now. Let's try to go back. All right, let's skip past that. So once permissions, yes, next. Allow, next. Allow, yes. Next, allow. Estimate, yes. I'll go ahead and give this one permissions. Okay, now it's scanning the, the uh, device history. Now look at this, look at this. Just in that couple of seconds, it found 5.11 gigabytes to clear out of your out of your uh, system, out of your uh, memory to totally wipe clean, right? So let's do it. That easy. Y'all saw how fast that was? Now, what is it asking for? Accessibility service. Yes. Now here, it's asking, when we run this service, do you want us to include all system apps? Meaning like if I have a OnePlus phone, do you want it to include OnePlus applications? or the system apps that are pre-installed on your device, or do you only want to run this cleaner on third-party apps that you downloaded and installed? I want it to run on everything. Now, here's another thing you need to look out for. It's asking, skip running apps. So apps that you currently have open, apps that are on your screen, apps that are in your recents memory, like this. If you go to recents, and you have an, <coughs> excuse me, an app open in the background, uh, YouTube, Google, stuff like that, it'll ask you, we can clear those apps or do you want us to not touch them, right? So I want them to clear that, right? And you have minimum caching age. So don't have to worry about that. Let's try it again. You know what? It is asking me to, to, to run it on this one. Because watch. Because for whatever reason, this app is so old, I think it's de defaulting us to this one. Because remember, it, it, it said recommended use this app. So maybe my phone, you might try to download the free one and have success with it. If not, just go ahead and download this new one. SD made SE. As you can tell, it's very easy to set up. We just went through it. Just got, all you gotta do is just grant access, just like that, and then it'll run right through it, right? Gotta grant it access, yes. Access, yes. And then it runs through the set of apps and wipes them clean. So again, it won't like sign you out of your apps to where, damn, I got to go sign back into my Bank of America app or I got to sign back into uh, my Google Photos app. No, it won't do that. What it does is it's just cleaning the access crap that all these files generate in the background. So it won't wipe your, it won't delete all your photos. It won't delete your videos. It leaves that stuff alone. Now, there is an option to delete a duplicate photo, or if you have a video, uh, a duplicate video that's on your device, it'll wipe a, that duplicate so you only have one. But this is uh, uh, very nice because it won't mess up your phone. 
basically. It just cleans the stuff in the background that you don't even know is on there. And your phone will work as normal or better than it did before it cleaned it, right? Because it tidies everything up. Your operating system will run smoother. You're going to have you're gonna have a little more memory. Um, and it's just a fantastic application I've been using for years. So if you have any questions whatsoever, hit me up in the comments. Um, I'll check it every day. And I'll be more than happy to help you out with any anything you need help with or any questions you got. So I uh, appreciate you joining us uh, today. I'm going to go ahead and download some of those other apps that he's got, start using those, and then we will review those here shortly. So appreciate you joining us, eSIM Studios. Peace out.